Okay, so every year Apple releases a new software update and obviously this year we're looking forward to iOS 18 set to be released here in mid to late September, but I feel like most users are looking forward to a lot of features that won't be available for older devices. So in this video, I wanted to clarify what are some of the features that won't be available for older iPhones running iOS 18 or even 18.1. Now, there's a few things to note here. Keep in mind that the features that will be mentioned in this video will only be available for the iPhone 15 Pro, 15 Pro Max, and any iPhone 16 or later. So just keep in mind, a lot of the iPhones that support iOS 18 will not be getting the features that I will be talking about in today's video. Now, I want to start off with Siri because I feel like this is one of the most confusing ones this year. So, obviously, you probably heard Apple talk about the new Siri 2.0 with Apple Intelligence, the new UI, as you see here, and many users are looking forward to the new Siri 2.0. However, that new Siri with the on-screen awareness, the more contextual aware Siri, and the new Siri UI will not be coming to all iPhones. It's only available for the iPhone 15 Pro and 15 Pro Max or later, as I mentioned. So just keep in mind that if you're looking forward to iOS 18, and you don't have an iPhone 15 Pro or 15 Pro Max or later, you won't be getting any of the new Siri upgrades this year once iOS 18 or 18.1 is released with a lot of these new features and updates to Siri this year. So just keep that one in mind. Now, another thing I want to talk about is writing tools. With Apple Intelligence, Apple added really nice writing tools that you can use in order to make your life a lot easier. Obviously, as you can see there, the proofread, we also have the rewrite, we have friendly, we have professional, we have all these tools here that help you compose a sentence or an email or whatever it is that you're looking to get assistance with. You have all those writing tools at your disposal. But again, these are only going to be available for the iPhone 15 Pro, 15 Pro Max, or later. So if you are looking to update to iOS 18 for the new writing tools, keep in mind that first off, iOS 18 will not contain Apple Intelligence, so a lot of the features won't be available at launch. And number two, these will only be available for the iPhone 15 Pro, 15 Pro Max, or later once again. And now another thing I want to mention is Image Playground. Now, Apple talked about Image Playground at WWDC, and this is going to be a new feature that allows you to create custom images to share with other iOS users. However, this is only for the newer devices as well. So if you have an iPhone 15 or 15 Plus, or lower, you won't be getting any of the image playground. For that matter, you won't be getting the Genmoji features either. Now, Genmoji will be a new feature that allows you to create custom emojis on your iPhone, and this will not be available for any of the older iPhones from iPhone 15 Plus, 15 below. You won't be getting this on your device, so keep in mind that these are only features available for the newer iPhones. Now, one of the questions I always get is, will call recording and transcripts. Is that going to be coming to older iPhones? So Apple added a new feature to iOS 18, which allows you to record phone calls. Actually, this feature is coming with iOS 18.1, but this feature again, will not be coming to any iPhone prior to the iPhone 15 Pro and 15 Pro Max. It is only for the latest Pro iPhones moving forward, and this is part of Apple intelligence. So if you were looking to update to iOS 18 to call record, you won't be able to do that on an older iPhone. As a matter of fact, I shouldn't even say older iPhones because not even the iPhone 15 or 15 Plus will have the call recording on your device. So just keep that in mind. Also, image cleanup right here for the Photos application, the ability to just circle a subject on a photo and clean it up, right? Make it look nice. Maybe perhaps just your family there in the actual photo. This is also using Apple Intelligence. This will only be available for the newer devices as well. And Image One, which allows you to just grab an image, circle the image that you've drawn and enhance that image that's only available for the newer iPhones as well. So just to clarify, a lot of these new features from Image Playground to Genmoji to Siri 2.0 to writing tools, all of this is Apple intelligent features, which will only be available once again with iPhone 15 Pro, 15 Pro Max or later. And Apple plans to release this mid to late October with the release of iOS 18.1. I just wanted to clarify that. So if you have someone that thinks that they will be getting a lot of these features on their devices, send this video to them. Let them know 
only 15 Pro, 15 Pro Max or later are getting this list of features and the rest of the features within iOS 18, which is a lot, just not as many, will be available for older devices. Just keep in mind that if you're looking forward to Siri, this is going to be the Siri for most iPhones moving forward and this is going to be the new Siri for the newer Pro iPhones and the 16 lineup come later in September. Thank you for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found this information helpful. If you did, don't forget to click the like button. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.